Hey guys, this is Robbie's Reviews, and in this video I'm going to do a review of the Canada's Windham Parka. Hey guys, so be sure to check out my website. It's the link in the description box below. I have a lot of Canada Goose coasts for sale and I'm constantly updating them. All right, before I get into the review, um, I just want to say a few of my general impressions with the jacket. Um, and that's that I'm just a little disappointed with it um, compared to other Canada Goose jackets similar to this. So not compared to like other brands of jackets or other parkas made by other companies, but to other Canada Goose coats, this one just doesn't stand out to me is that great of a jacket and certain features and certain other things about it which I'll go into more detail. For you guys that don't know I rate and review my items based on four categories. Those categories are features, functionality, quality, and comfort and I'm going to start with talking about the features on this jacket. So the jacket has a neat kind of pocket system I guess I'd call it. You have these two lower pockets down here and then it's separated where then you also have these higher hand warmer hand warm pockets here but there's a two zipper system so you can zip the zipper up and it'll zip all, both sections open at once you can zip just one half of the section up if you want to just leave the lower pockets closed and then have the high hand warm pockets open or whatever um, in practice I found myself just mixing it up a little bit by accidentally zipping both zippers up at a time which obviously doesn't open the jacket I don't know I found that a little frustrating I just, I guess I just had to think about it a little bit more when I'm using the zippers, which is something I don't really like to do that much. Some other features, you have the heavy duty rib cuffs like in most Canada Goose coats, and you have the cuff overlaying that. You have the Canada Goose patch on the left side here, you have two YKK zippers on the front like most Canada Goose coats, and you have the Storm Guard snap overlaying that. Inside the jacket you have a Napoleon pocket on the left side here, and it's pretty large. You've got a drop down mesh pocket here which is always nice so for the hood the hood is removable so you have a zipper right here to remove the jacket you can snap the hood a little closer to your face with these snaps here um, and then so for the hood you can put the hood up and it gives you a decent amount of protection you have to zip this up and this doesn't when you zip the jacket all the way up like this um, before snapping this close your bottom of the face is gonna feel a little bit of the cold if there's any wind and such even with this snapped up all the way you're still going to get some of the cold seeping through there. And this is different um, compared to like other jackets like the Langford or the um, Chilliwick jacket, which have a tunnel hood, which do a better job at covering your entire face from the cold and the wind. The other thing I don't like about this is, see these four buttons here, or these four snaps? So just snapping these up is just really awkward and kind of frustrating, to be honest with you. Uh, other things about the jacket, uh, you have this quilted design in the front, so most some Canada Goose jackets, like the Langford or the Chateau, have the shell exterior and then the quilted lining. So that just means the down is kind of structured inside the jacket. On this jacket, you have the down structure on the outside. So those are the features of the Canada Goose Windham jacket. There's a few nice features, like I do like the sections on the pockets. I don't really like how the zippers, the double zippers are designed in the front just for ease of use. I also don't like, as I said, the ease of use of putting the hood on. So all in all, I'm gonna give this jacket just a six out of 10 when it comes to features. All right, so next up is the functionality of the jacket. So I found this jacket to perform pretty much in line with other similar Canada Goose jackets. So like the Chilliwick jacket or like the Carson jacket. Carson Parka. Um, I did notice this jacket is maybe a little bit more breathable than at least the Chilliwick or like the Langford or the Chateau um, or the Borden Bomber jacket just because it has a little bit less down in it. Um, and it's a little lighter and a little thinner than some of those other jackets. In terms of protection from the cold, it does a good job of it. I wouldn't take this like in temperatures that are below like 10 degrees, negative 10 degrees, or maybe even below zero. Um, just because there's not as much down as it in it as I said. In terms of water resistance and, and wind resistantness, this jacket performs very well. So in line with other Canada Goose jackets. So all in all, for the functionality of this jacket, give it an 8.5. All right. So next up is quality. This jacket is a good quality jacket. Um, the components on it are all made well. The zippers and the snaps function well, and I'd expect it to last the lifetime of the jacket. The heavy-duty ripped cuffs feel. Like they're made of good materials they don't feel cheap like some other brands cuffs um, i've noticed kind of like north faces for example even some other brands like woolrich you're not going to be disappointed with the quality of this jacket uh they if you get a black jacket like this you will notice it fades um, the black will kind of fade in spots where you get wear to it which doesn't really happen with lighter color jackets 
So if that's something, if the appearance is a really big deal for you, uh, I would maybe recommend getting a lighter color jacket. But overall, this jacket is made very well. You won't be disappointed with the quality. I wouldn't say it's ne necessarily luxurious, but um, overall, this jacket's an 8 out of 10 when it comes to quality. All right, so lastly is comfort. I found this jacket pretty comfortable, being that it's not a super long jacket, so your legs have full range of motion in it. Um, the It's not obviously very heavy in either because there's not that much down in it. And Canada Goose just always does a really great job of um, packing a lot of warmth without a lot of weight. So you also like the high hand warmer pockets on this jacket, where they sit and how you're able to put your hands in there. Um, and the fleece lining inside of that, so that's a nice feature. It's something that's in like the Langford and the Chilliwick that I think is a really important feature just for walking around and being comfortable. One thing I noticed about this jacket is I'm typically a slim fit, so I'm a pretty slim guy. I'm like 140 in it. Um, but and I'm wearing a men's small, which is should be about my size, but I noticed that the shoulders are kind of tight in this jacket and the chest, the upper chest is a little too. So it's a little restricting on my arms and just when I move my arms, it pulls the jacket a little bit. So it pulls the torso of the jacket when I move my arms. And that's something I don't notice with other jackets like the Chilliwick jacket or even the Chateau jacket. So that's something I just probably warn you if you're looking into this jacket, maybe buy, maybe this means get a size up. But all in all, otherwise it's a lightweight jacket and it's pretty comfortable. I'm gonna give this jacket a 6.5 out of 10 comes with comfort. All right, so just again to reiterate my general points about this jacket or general impressions of this jacket. Uh, like I said before, there's other, there's probably better Canada Goose jackets for you if you're looking for a jacket like this. If there's th certain things particular that you really like about this jacket, whether it be the quilted design on the front of it, the hand warmer pockets, the ability to take the hood off of the jacket, um, then this jacket could be a great fit for you. I think just personally in some of my preferences, there's other better jackets out there that Canada Goose creates. So this is the overall score for the Windham jacket.